Welcome to Northern Lights over Arkham. I'm JP and this time I'm starting the Circle Undone campaign with Calvin Wright. We already did the prologue and we got three pieces of evidence left behind. So before we start, uh, I chose for Calvin the option at the intro that we uh, resigned our faith, so I added two elder thing tokens to the back, and I didn't get the uh, weakness and the extra tarot card. The reason for this is because uh, for Calvin, I will be upgrading when I get some XP to the uh, survivor tarot card. So the weakness tarot will be quite bad if I get it and I have to play it and I already have the uh, survivor turret in place so rather than that I'll just uh, take the uh, worst chaos tokens into the bag but let's look a bit uh, about the deck first so Calvin has been built to be a desperate Calvin so there are a lot of the desperate skill cards in the deck like reckless assault run for your life and say your prayers. This is because I'm also going to upgrade Calvin to Yottle and with Yottle the desperate cards become really effective. You can basically play each of them twice. I've also included uh, six weapons, two fire axes, two meat cleavers and two baseball bats. This is because we really need a weapon and all of those are okay in Calvin. We have some additional soak in the form of cherished keepsakes, one letter code, and i have also trying out hiding spot that I haven't used uh, previously. Instead of look what I found, I decided to go with uh, winging it for some clue tech. And of course there's uh, the Ward of Protections that work really well in Calvin. And my basic random weakness is uh, Mob Enforcer. So hopefully I have resources to deal with that when uh, he comes out. Well, that's enough of the deck. Let's go to the scenario. We are playing the Witching Hour. We had a tarot reading in uh, the, the independent square in Arkham and we rejected our fate so after that we woke up in the Arkham woods and now we are desperately trying to find our way out of here. So we need to get some clues and I've already put the four locations into play. They are all uh, connected to each other and I haven't uh, decided which location I will start in but we'll get to that in a minute. So that's enough of the deck and scenario so let's get started. If you like my content hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Uh, we are player on standard difficulty and I have already pre-shuffled the decks, so let's draw our opening hand. And we replace the weakness, so we have a meat cleaver uh, until the end of time. Trial by fire, winging it and run for your life. I will I think I'll keep these cards at the start. I'm thinking should I keep winging it. I think uh, we have a decent start. We need clue deck at the start, right at the start. So I'll keep those. I'll just get one replacement card and it's a reckless assault so not that useful uh, not that useful just yet but 
Let's see where this scenario goes. Let's do a quick shuffle and then decide where we want to go first. Okay, I think I'll start from here. So we go here. It's the Witch Haunted Woods uh, Abandoned Mine. You cannot investigate this location while you have between 3 and 10 resources. So I think we'll just play down a lot of resources at the start and uh, by playing assets and try to start investigating. I think I'll play until end of time. Just put it here. So that's one resource and one action. I'm debating if I should play the trial by fire. I think I'll play the trial by fire so we can snatch this clue. So that's three resources. So I will uh, choose knowledge. So I have a base skill of five in knowledge. And also, uh, it's a fast card, so it doesn't take an action. Uh, I will investigate. Actually, let's back up a bit. bit. I think I'll keep that in hand. So, first action, uh, I will play Trial by Fire. Second action, I will investigate. So... I am investigating 5 versus 2, it's a minus 3, so we get that clue. Uh, second action, I will move and I think I'll go here. It's a 3 shroud location with 2 clues. Uh, last action, I'll try to investigate. I have nothing to commit to the test, so... It's 5 versus 3. I get a minus 1, so I get 1 clue. And after any number of clues are discovered from this location, each investigator at this location loses an equal number of resources. So I lose 1 resource. And that is my turn. Uh, good turn, we got 2 clues. I could advance, but I have found out that uh, in this scenario it's better to get a lot of clues and then rapidly advance through the act, uh, cards. So I will be trying to get more clues before I start advancing. And we get a card and a resource. So we get the take the take card, which will help with our cards and resources, because I think we will be failing some tests soon. So that is the first turn. Let's go to the second round. We get a Doom on the agenda, and uh, the first Mythos phase encounter card is Coven Initiative. Uh, Coven Initiate uh, is, is it really what <laughs> I would have wanted to see right about now? So it uh, comes engaged with us. Well, at least I think we'll, I think we'll try to evade, uh, play the take card, fail it, and get some resources and cards, and then play the meat cleaver and try to kill it. That is the plan. Um, so we also have to discard the top two cards and the deck is not running out yet. Nice, we missed an Ancient Evils, that's every time a good, good thing to see. Okay, so first action. I will try to evade. I'll commit a card to the test. I'm uh, evading 0 to 2. I fail, as I predicted. I get two cards, I get hiding spot, and another take card, and two resources. 
second action, I'll take an attack of opportunity and I'll play down Meat Cleaver. I'll take one horror. For the last action, I'll try to hit the coven initiate. initiate. Uh, we are still only one versus two. So instead of holding on to until the end of time, I'll commit it to this test. And just in case, I'll commit the take heart. If we fail, at least we get some resources. So I am uh, 3 versus 2, <laughs> minus 4, we fail, okay, uh, at least we get 2 cards, we get to say your prayers and another say your prayers and we get 2 resources. can get away from the Coven initiative next turn with the hiding spot, but I think we'll just soak more horror from it. So that's the uh, investigation phase. We get one card and it's Peter Sylvester and then one resource. Okay. And uh, oh yeah, in the enemy phase, the Coven initi initiate hits us for one ho more horror, so now we have the desperate skills activated. Actually now we can just kill it with the reckless assault next turn. But yeah, that is the turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we get another doom and the encounter card for this turn is uh, ancient evil, so we add one doom here. Actually I don't mind that that much because at least now we don't have to deal anything el with anything else but the Coven initiate. So I will take another horror and attack and now I will commit the Reckless Assault to the test. So I am 5 versus 2. I'm hoping to kill this witch now. Uh, minus three, so I actually I'm six versus two because I have uh, three or fewer sanity remaining. So we kill the Coven initiate, and with the meat cleaver we can heal one more. Actually, do I want to heal the horror because now I can investigate better here. Uh, I won't heal the horror because I will play down Peter Sylvester. And then I will play winging it and investigate here. So I'm investigating uh, 4 versus Two. Yeah, I can do math. So four versus two investigation thing. Uh, let's see. It's uh, minus three. If you fail, choose an exhausted or damage which enemy. Well, there are none. So unfortunately, I failed the test. So that is our turn. And we go to upkeep because there's no enemies. Uh, we get a cherished keepsake. That is good to see. And one resource. Okay. And that is our turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at five, uh, I mean four doom of eight. And the encounter card is be deviled. You cannot trigger action abilities on cards you control. Test will three if you succeed, discard be deviled. If there is an exhausted witch enemy at your location, this test automatically succeeds. Okay, so Mm, we can't trigger the meat cleaver. Just making a mental note of that. Uh, that's not too bad at this moment. And we have say of prayers in hand, so when we need to get rid of that, we have a uh, good cards for that. 
Let's play the Jerry's keepsake for extra soak for horror. And I'll use the winging it from my discard. Lower the shroud here. Again, uh, let's try to investigate uh, four versus two. So minus two are better. It's uh, minus one. We get the clue. Uh, we have no resources to lose, so that is that. Let's uh, next move up here. Okay, when the last clue... Uh, so this is the witch haunted woods child's treehouse. When the last clue is discovered from this location, spawn the topmost enemy in the encounter discard pile at this location. And if there are no enemies, but there are... It's a shroud of one and two clues, so we can easily clear that next turn. And then we can deal with that witch in the discard. So that was another quick turn. No enemies, so we go to upkeep. I get a fire axe and I'll get one resource. Okay, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we are at 5 Doom of 8, Encounter Cardis, another Ancient Evils, so we are really losing time on these Ancient Evils. But at least no enemies at this point, so I think my plan is to just ignore the Covenant initiate this turn. I will just uh, Investigate and then I'll play hiding spot and leave So Actually, I can just play the hiding spot right now Okay, so let's play the hiding spot Then I will first action investigate It's a minus one so four versus one, we get the clue. Second action, we'll investigate. Uh, minus two, so we get another clue. And then we search for the topmost enemy in the discard. It's the Coven Initiate. And because we have the hiding spot in play, just checking because this is the first time I'm actually playing this. So we attach the hiding spot to any location. Each non-elite enemy at the location gains a loop. At the end of the enemy phase, if a ready enemy is at attached location, discard hiding spot. So this uh, which comes here a loop, so it doesn't engage us. And we can just move to the last location. And we don't have to deal with that witch right now. So when an enemy would spawn at the different witch haunted woods, spawn it at this location instead, then it makes an immediate attack against each investigator at this location. Shroud of three, one clue. That's the overgrown barn. Okay, I think that's that's okay. And that is our turn. Enemy phase, uh, nothing happens. Uh, enemy phase ends, so we discard hiding spot and uh, the witch loses a loop. And upkeep, we draw one card, we get the reckless assault, that's nice to see, and one resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 7 Doom of 8. I think we want to advance. This turn, maybe after we get this clue, but let's see what we get. Uh, it's uh, frozen in fear. Well, that's unfortunate, but I think we can handle that with say your prayers quite easily. So, uh, investigation. So, move, fight, and evade will cost an extra action. 
we can investigate normally. I'll just try to investigate 4 versus 3. It's an auto fail. We try again. So 4 versus 3. It's a minus 4. Yeah, let's just uh, try one more time. Uh, minus 3. No luck. Mm. At the end of my turn, I'll test the frozen in fear. I commit say a prayer, so I'm testing 8 versus 3. It's a minus 2. We get rid of the frozen in fear. And enemy face. Nothing happens. Upkeep. Get a card. It's the trial by fire. That's okay. And we gain one resource. So, that was another quick turn. Let's go to the next turn. So, we are at 8 Doom of 8. We advance. So, we discard all but the last 5 cards from the encounter deck. The investigator with the most cards in his or her play area must draw the top most which enemy in the encounter discard pile. Okay, uh, so I'll do it just like I just pick the five cards the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. So these are still in the deck. And everything else gets discarded. And we pull the topmost witch, which is a uh, common initiate. I actually might have forgotten to trigger the revelation from that that witch, but well that happens and I can't really backtrack to that anymore. But we trigger that conven initiate so we discard two and what else? Yeah that that's all from that uh, agenda. Now we have a threshold of 12, and we have the forced ability. At the end of the round, place one doom on this agenda for each witch enemy at the witch's circle. Okay, then we get uh, a counter card for this turn. <laughs> Another frozen in fear, unfortunately. Well, that's, that's annoying. I think we'll just take one horror on Peter. We have to use two actions because of the frozen fear and actually yeah I can't use the weed cleaver. Let's back up. Let's think about this for a second. How do I wanna do this? I could trial by fire. I don't have the resources for that yet. If I punch the weeds twice I think I'll just investigate, so I'll take one, I think it on myself actually, so I'm testing 5 versus 3, I got an attack of opportunity from the Coven Initiate, well the problem is that, yeah but we can advance, so, oh yeah, those witches will move with us, that's not good. This is a quite unfortunate situation. I think we'll need to just, yeah, so I'll take the attack of opportunity, so I'm at 5. I use it to gain a resource, fast action, I'll play trial by fire, I'll uh, pick agility, so I'm testing uh, five versus. Yeah, so resource and for evasion two actions. I'll try to. Oh yeah, 
I don't have the enough actions to get rid of. Uh, let's let's back up again. I won't take the attack of opportunity. I won't play that. So, first action. I'll take the attack of opportunity. I will uh, get rid of the devil. Testing 9 versus 3. It's a zero. The devil is gone. Second action. I'll use Peter and I'll play Reckless Assault and I'll hit. So I use Meat Cleaver. I put the, um, the horror on Peter. I'll use Reckless Assault. So I am. Uh, Six versus two. It's an elder thing, so I don't fail. This uh, witch is dead. And then we'll test for the frozen fear. I test five versus. Oh, yeah, at the end of the turn, Peter heals from horror. Actually, I could heal one horror, but I I keep the horror because I want to pass this test for the frozen fear. Uh, it's a minus three, so unfortunately we fail. <laughs> I should have committed the trial by fire, but I didn't, so it is what it is. Enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, we draw a card and we gain one resource. Okay. Well, uh, that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we had one Doom, so one of twelve. Then come to card is uh, Rotting Remains. I will test five versus three. I get a plus one, so nothing happens. Now we try to investigate. It's a skull. It's a minus one, so we don't fail. Uh, we get the clue. Now, uh, so yeah, we don't get any enemies for that. Now we are ready to get uh, advancing the. Act so we use two clues to advance. So each investigator must randomly choose one of the set aside Arkham Woods locations. Okay, shuffle this up. Just pick this one and we'll move to that location. And it is the unhallowed ground force. After you enter this location, test will power 4. If you fail, take 1 damage and 1 horror. That's okay. I actually want some damage on, on me. Next, we will spawn one uh, goat spawn. We need to test willpower or agility 3 and if we succeed the god spawn comes engaged uh, comes in play exhausted and yeah we need to add one clue here we really don't need that clue and we put two demonic pipings into the discard and we shovel one in the counter deck, so... Yeah, we need to still test this willpower 4 test. I just tested. I won't commit anything to that. So, minus 1, we pass. 
Then we'll test the god spawn uh, by versus. Five versus three. It's a minus one, so it comes into play exhausted. Okay, and we'll just spend another clue to advance again. Now we can move to connecting locations. Yay! And We'll spend the three clues again, and we get the witch's circle. So I'll actually reorganize the play area. So let's pause the recording for a moment. We'll write back. Okay, so uh, these locations are still all connected to each other, we even without the connecting markers. Uh, this Arkham Woods is connected to all of these also, but I'll just mark it here. And we spawn an animation into the Witch's Circle. There are three clues and a Shroud of Tree there. So we still have two actions left this turn, and the objective is either to uh, advance if we defeat Annet Mason or there are no clues on the witch's circle. So what I'm thinking is that we will go just go in there and play trial by fire and kill off Annet Mason. Next turn, but this turn uh, last action, uh, last two actions is to move because of the frozen in fear. Then we will test uh, frozen in fear. I'll use Peter Sylvester to boost it, so I am a 6 versus 3. And we get an Elder Sign. I will actually put one damage on myself with the Elder Sign ability of uh, Calming Bright to boost up my fight skill for next round. And let me see. So at the enemy phase this switch moves here and at the end of the round we add doom to the agenda the amount that there are ready witches in the uh, well for each witch enemy in the witches circle so we need to really get going next turn to kill off Annette Mason so we get one card Lucky, that's nice, and one resource, so it's looking good with the cards we have, and yeah, this uh, god spawn ready is. And let's go to the next round. And we add a fourth to onto the agenda, we get counter card, which is uh, demonic fighting. Uh, it's just it searches and we put it here, so the last card is Dissonant Voices, so there goes, goes my Trial by Fire plans. I think we still... Well, let's think about this for a moment. We go into the circle and we start investigating. Uh, we still will taking quite a lot of damage. I think we'll have to... Uh, yeah, I don't mind the gold spawn coming to get us. But yeah, these dissonant voices really messed up my plans for this turn. Well, nothing I can do. I really don't want to draw any cards this turn. We could go in, try to evade, and <laughs> come back. Uh, that doesn't sound good. I try 
this one. So I'll move in. First action. Oh yeah, I can't play lucky. Forget about it. I'll just get resources. For all of my actions. Uh, yeah, that's the turn. This goat spawn comes, hits us for one damage. That's okay. Oh yeah, this goes away at the end of the round. Let's shove all this. And uh, yeah, at the end of the round we had to... Oh yeah, um, after the enemy phase begins we discard three cards <laughs> double ancient evils frozen fear okay and yeah we would ready her no, that doesn't do anything okay so now we add to doom and that is our turn so we go to upkeep draw one card so we it not helpful and one resource Okay, well that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 7 of 12 doom, we really need to kill Annette this turn. Encounter card is this uh, Bolic Voices, test willpower 3 for each point you fail by, discard one random card from your hand. Uh, can I commit anything to this? No. Well, we will test 5 versus 3. And uh, there are no Diabolic Voices in here, so it's just a test of 3. 5 versus 3 plus 1, we pass. First action, uh, we'll move. We'll take one attack of opportunity from the Goat Spawn. And both of these engage. We use three resources to play Trial by Fire. So now we have a base value of 5 plus 3, so 8, 9, 10 from the Meat Cleaver. And we'll take one Horror on Peter and hit Annette with it. So uh, 10 versus 4, minus 4, we do 2 damage. And last action, we hit again and we'll put one horror on the cherished keepsake. So 10 versus 4. For all the marbles in an Elder Sign, we'll just take one damage. Doesn't matter. And we deal two damage and we heal one horror with the meat cleaver. So Annette is dead. We get to advance. And we manage to get the resolution one. And resolution one is. We basically break the uh, witch's spell, so we record the witch's spell was broken. Uh, we discover mementos, uh, mesmerizing fruit, and ritual components, and we get an extra one experience on top of all of the rest experiences, which are one, two, three, four and 5-6, so we get 7 experience to upgrade our deck with. And that is the scenario. So, uh, that this, uh, uh, Dissonant vo Voices was quite annoying. We could have ended this one turn earlier. Uh, luckily, it didn't matter. It actually ended up helping us a bit. Uh, we got a couple of damage from the Gold Spawn to 
boost our attack up. So uh, even if that looked quite bad, it was actually a godsend for Calvin because uh, we got our fight skill so high up that defeating Annette was quite easy in the end. And we got 7 experience, so I will upgrade my deck and Calvin will continue the campaign to at death's, death's doorstep next time. So we'll look at the upgrades before we start the next scenario in the next video. So thanks for watching and until next time.